And welcome back to Sonic Colors. I lied. We have one more video to do, and it's just kind of like a show-off video of, uh, well, first off, I have to go into my super completed 100% file to do this, but, um, I mentioned Game Land a while back. You mean Jam Land? Jam Land. Um, you can change the speed between 1 and 5, obviously, the faster the speed, the faster Sonic will move. Uh, there's these sets of levels, there's seven sets of three, if you complete all three that go to one set, you get a Chaos Emerald for that, and if you complete all of the 21 Game Land levels, you can get all the Chaos Emeralds, and you get to become Super Sonic in this game. I'm not going to do all 21 levels, um, I had Landon, I had Landon pick one through three for each of the first six zones, and then I did a specific level I want to do in the seventh set, and... This is basically to just show off what Game Land's like. Um, that red ball following you, by the way, is the second player. If you're doing 1.5, you can switch between the two. And if you're doing two players, then uh, you are a masochist. Yeah, that's basically all I have to say about that. Oh, we need to do two players, Landon. Okay. Oh, from find you, and we'll do that. We'll do. Uh, yeah. Because there's no online, there's there's no online co-op for this game. <laughs> um, so Game Land, the levels are like colored Lego themed. Like they each zone has like a specific color. And it's basically the color of the emerald that you're gonna get after you beat all three levels for it. This one's green. This one, t um, each zone also has music that's like chip tuny version of the. the zone it's supposed to be like correspondent of, so this is like tropical resort game land section, so there's tropical resort music, next one's sweet mountain, so on and so forth. Uh, I don't know why, but I kind of hope they do the game land thing again and make like future Sonic levels like all bitified. I think they need to make more game land. There's the, I want them to bring back game land. Game land all day. And in fact, actually, I really do like Game Land. I wish that they would do something like it more often, but ever since, like, Sonic Colors was the only case that they did this. Well, and this one sounds very Sonic Advance-ish. It does sound very Sonic Advance-ish. This is the sweet mountain chiptune music. Like, they're going for 8-bit, because I guess it's like, you know, like, Master System Game Gear, but it sounds more like Game Boy Advance. Um, by any chance, is the drill 8-bit? Yeah, the... Uh, uh, I don't know. What? What? I got it. Also, the music, um, normally, when you're using different West power-ups, you get a different theme. You just get one theme that blankets all the West power-ups while you're in Game Land, and they all sound... It's, it's like a chip tuny version of Reach for the Stars is an instrumental. It's kinda neat. Yeah, there's like so many uh, different versions of Reach for the Stars. Which is not bad, because I actually do like that uh, theme. Um, I actually think it's one of my favorite orchestral versions of like, uh, the main theme being used for like, a final boss. We Did talked I? about this in the yeah. last part. Yeah, when we were doing the final boss fight with Eggman. Oh, whoa. I was sleeping, like, for a while, so you can't ex you know, actually expect my brain to be working right now. Your brain never works. Yeah, but it's even worse if I'm actually, you know, awake, like, for the first time. You know, we don't first, expect the first you time. to not remember what you say about uh, music, because you're just going to repeat it, like, the Jillian times anyway. Oh. Wait, um, all of the all the game yeah, all the game land levels are pretty short. By the way, none of them are particularly very long. I think the longest one I've done was like two and a half minutes or so. Most of them you can finish in about a minute and a half, or even less. Um, most of them are almost completely in two D, although there are a couple that are in three D in segments. Um, some of my favorite levels, though, in Game Land actually have the level de layout of several levels from Sonic 1. Like, this one is, um, 
fucking this is scrap brain zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah I this guess is, I think it's uh, level four with uh, fucking zone. Um, it's just not as no, not as no, no. The fifth one, the fifth one's labyrinth. Oh, yeah, the, this one's just not as tight. There's also one. There's one for the first act of each of the uh, each of the six zones from Sonic One, but I can't really pinpoint which one Starlight is because as much as I like Starlight Zone, I go through that level so fast that I cannot remember the layout for it. Um, but I'm pretty sure Green Hill's in there somewhere. I know that Scrap uh, Scrap Brain is because we're doing it now. I know Spring Yard is, but I can't remember what level it is. Uh, Labyrinth Zone is the one for the f fifth game land set well, that we do. This one's a little bit kinder than Scrap Brain Zone because, like, the disappearing blocks, or the platforms, whatever you want to call them, is actually uh, where a lot of those pits would open up in. Instead of a spike pit, it was a bottomless pit. Although... In this one, the balls that go down the hill are a lot bigger, which is annoying. Actually, I think, I think it's also different by the fact you're going up instead of down. Yeah. You're usually going down when you're doing that part. Also, no annoying electricity cores into the walls. Or those, like, spinny things of doom. Nope, none of that. It's more of like a modified version of Scrap Brain. They obviously haven't changed some things. Like yeah, they, they they didn't keep everything 100% on any of them. There's no wall jump in the Genesis games. <laughs> this is just like a straight run. Uh, yeah, for the most part. The only ones I the uh, I took I did like a couple part like I did a couple tries for the seventh set because I wanted to do a particular level that I like. In that set, so it took me a few tries to record that one, so I cut out when I'm doing that, but oh. other than that, it's basically all one go. It's like I said, I was in the middle of a call with Landon when I was doing this. Oh. Then I was like, hey, pick ones. He was like, oh, okay. But it didn't like, invade your entire screen. All of them. You picked all of them except for the seventh one. No, I wanted to pick all the levels. Uh, I wanted to, but, 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 yeah, he, wa he wanted me to do all the levels, but Jack was like, please tell me we're not doing all you're not doing all 21 levels. I want, this I want to be like a 45 minute long video. I don't care, I'd watch it. Uh, it's what there. You... Well, <laughs> I wanted Landon to be in like, two different things in the same video. Oh, again? Sure, why not? You you guys invaded me during Sonic Three Knuckles. I that sounds so wrong. Okay. It only sounded wrong because you said it. Shh! Don't tell anyone. Well, you tell the. You tell hey, everyone! <laughs> well, he did. He did say. You can tell everyone. I didn't. I just told you not to tell anyone. Hey, anyone! Ever Fuck! No! Don't do that! No! Well, since all right, this, 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 well, hold on. Since this, everyone applies to all people, wouldn't that mean that everyone is anyone? Or, but everyone is a person's name. Yes. In this case. Don't tell Miley Cyrus. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Whoa. I didn't particularly want to open that can of worms, but whatever. Or can of herpes. Uh, that works too. Probably got it, you never know. Ow. But yeah, this is the um, Labyrinth Zone level, by the way. It looks a lot more tame without, you know, Labyrinth Zone attached oh, to God. it. Go away, man. I do not want it. No, you want it. Alright, um, so yeah, I forgot to explain. Eggman, if you hit one of the little capsules that has his little thing, um, he'll have a giant floating Eggman head, which for some reason is completely in love with you and will follow you everywhere. And if you get hit by the hearts and you get hit by the Eggman, you take damage. It's, it's hard, very helpful. Uh, it resembles nothing like it, which is why I'm not saying that it resembles it, because it doesn't. But, uh, I don't know, those masher things were reminding me of those things, those, uh, that whole, like, long stretch of, like, nothing but waiting that you did in Marvel Zone, otherwise you'd get, like, flattened by those colors. 
Um, yeah. That, that's probably like, well, this is, well, I mean, the entirety of Marvel Zone is nothing but a waiting game, but that's probably like one of the earliest parts since Evolution just ended up being crushed. Most of it is just lava, right? Yeah, mostly. Yeah. So you can find an invincibility thing and just run on lava. Fuck waiting. You know what, the whole jumping infinitely in water kind of makes those spikes not as dangerous. I also don't know why those spikes are randomly on that wall. Or... I don't know. I don't know, like, the only way I can ever see you hit that is if you veer too hard to the left. Which... I don't think it's possible, considering it's a game about going right. It actually makes more sense to put those spikes on the right side of the wall. Oh yeah, this level is partially in 3D. I like the segment that it has here. Salam. Welcome to the jam. Oops. <laughs> Oh, this is the Asteroid Coaster. Yeah. The last, the last one was the Aquarium Park one, and then the next one is going to be the Terminal Velocity one. That was definitely yes. <laughs> Terminal Velocity has more actual stages in its gameplay and counterpart than it does in the game itself. Well, Ooh. too bad we, too bad we get the same blocky background. Yeah. I wish they would have done something a little bit different, but I mean, it is kind of, it is just like a set of special stages, really, so... I'm not complaining. Well, they got really freaky with it. Yeah, boss. I... I was boss. gonna say we could have the half pipe again. Oh. No oh, thanks. Well, there was that one little lost world which was nothing but food. Well, when I have to get the Chaos Emeralds in Sonic 2, we get to have fun with the half pipes, whether you want to or not. Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. You weren't going for the Chaos Emeralds. I am going to do it after the game. Instead of, instead of doing it like I did, it made everybody cry. Well, the thing is, is in order to get a special, like, little uh, cliffhanger sequel hook ending that's only in that version of Sonic 2, as well as in order to show off the full version, uh, all of Mystic Cave Act 2 that I didn't show off in the main run because I went to Hidden Palace instead, I'm going to be doing the Chaos Emeralds and I'm going to play Hidden Palace Act 2. I mean, not Hidden Palace, Mystic Cave Act 2. I think the only thing well, I, sh I showed in terms of... And show off Super Sonic. I think the only thing I showed off in terms of differences for Sonic 3 and Knuckles was I actually did Sonic 3 first. Is that what you actually got the extra music that got cut out? But other than that, yeah. it was pretty much the same. And this is the Terminal Velocity Game Land set. I'm surprised you made that. Oh yeah. I pull some stupid shit sometimes. Uh, I love the music for this one. Eight bit of art. Delicious eight bit. Oh, I was about to say, can you not break those? Yeah, you can. You can break those blocks, those black blocks will break with any wisp power, but you have to have a wisp power for it, you can't just break it with your own moveset. Get away from me, Eggman head. Go. Oh yeah, you have like these little wheels, like slots that you can use, but they're nowhere near as fun as the ones in other Sonic games, so like, I never pay attention to them. I thought you touch and get grades. They don't really do, no. <laughs> Thankfully they don't do that. Well, no, the Sonic equivalent was just throw a bunch of spikes at you and take all your rings away. Which was almost to the same effect, because after that you die and got hit again. Which, by the way, in the Sonic 2 run we're going to be doing spoilers, um, I actually didn't get that Robotnik any of the times that I went to the slots in Casino Night. I was hashtag too good. Spoilers, now we can't, we can't do that. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, I died. <laughs> of all things to die from, I died from, from that. The fall was killed you. I was wondering because everybody died already. Oh, what the hell? Oh, yeah. You died again. <laughs> I die. I die. I die a few times. Uh, he, he hit the robot when he uncurled. 
Well, the thing it's is, if you have, yeah, if you have no rings, it's really dangerous to be playing with those billiard balls because you die a lot. You die all day. I those billiard balls are serious business, man. I just don't play billiards because I have terrible luck. It's not about luck. No. It's about it's about trajectory and science yeah. and physics. And sometimes science says you're going to be unlucky to get smacked with this. Science has nothing to do with luck, though. Well, science is going to do with science. There's, there is the science of luck, I guess. Probability, but... It's yeah. Well, not that that to that. This. No, it doesn't. It doesn't pertain to billiards or Sonic. Or Sonic. Well, Unless I guess you're playing Sonic at six and you're just unlucky to run into oh a Oh God, glitch. no! Don't, don't, don't even talk about that Sonic at that. What? Don't Sonic at six. I'm not looking forward to that. Hashtag best Beep. level. Hashtag all levels. I I, I say we do the son uh actually I'll probably talk about it later uh when this video's over because I'm gonna be a while, I think. Well whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> do you ever? Nope. You drunk. I have Go to bed. my my tra my train thought starts and then it disappears for a while, and then it comes back, but when it comes back, it comes back right. like a startable phone number. So, if you get all seven Chaos Emeralds, you unlock an option in the option satellite to turn on Supersonic. The reason why you have to turn this on is because that if you decide to turn on Supersonic, you turn off every Wisp power in the game while you have Supersonic I see that on. Supersonic. It's Ew. just, um, it's just how the game works. If you want to use Supersonic, you can't use the Wisps. If you want to use the Wisps, you can't use Supersonic. Um, it's because the way that you activate Supersonic is the same way you activate the Wisps. You just have to get 50 rings, and then you waggle the Wii Remote or do whatever action it requires you to do, and then boom, you're uh, Supersonic. Uh, so it's basically like you can't enter the shield and you have 50 rings, so you'll just go Supersonic. Yeah, basically. I mean, well, it, it's a little bit more noticeable with Knuckles, because you can't slide once you hit 50 yeah. rings, but then why wouldn't you want to be high power? Yeah, the reason why I picked this level to do Super Sonic is just because it's really easy to get 50 rings within the first, like, few seconds of the level. So I figured I could show it off a little bit hey, better. Hey, now it's Sonic and Leaf! So now, um, if you are Super Sonic in this game, you have infinite boost, you can boost as much as you want, you get a 2,000 point Super Sonic bonus every couple of seconds. Um, it's really hard for Super Sonic to get S ranks though because those constant bonuses aren't nearly enough to make up for the loss of the Wisp power bonuses. But it's fun to use. It's basically, yeah, I beat this game. I'm just gonna fuck it a new asshole. This is really annoying music. It's just yeah, and loop. unfortunately, yeah, and unfortunately, it doesn't stop. It continues for the entire ah, it's like of the level. The only thing that I like about Generations. Super Sonic is that uh, it doesn't change the music when you transform. Oh, it doesn't? No, it doesn't. Well, what if you I, haven't really, the Sonic? I haven't really used Super Sonic in Generations. So. Well, you know what would be nice oh. if you could change, like, actually set the Super Sonic music so Landon could just listen to, like, fucking Can You Feel the Sunshine All Day or something? Or, or Level 5 Judge Light. <laughs> oh, that's a Sonic. That's a Sonic. <laughs> It is now. It is now. Oh, well. I mean, we made it whatever that one guy's name is. Theme song. Yeah. yeah. Racketeer. <laughs> we could make it Super Sonic theme song. Oh yeah, and I die here. Oh. <laughs> Thank God that's over with. Yeah. Um, hey, I have to make keep the video interesting somehow. I figured me oh dying. Oh my god, my ears almost started bleeding. I'm sorry that I subjected you to that torment. It's not even the fact that it's like a bad theme, it's just. Three it's way too repetitive. It's, it's same five yeah. notes over and over again. Like, you could probably play it on trombone. 
But anyway, uh, that's all for Sonic Colors. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next LP. Woo! Sucker cock. Uh, bye-bye. <laughs>